The East African Community (ESC) comprising six partner states of Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda is home to 177 million citizens with a combined GDP of 193 billion US dollars. It is one of the fastest growing regional economic blocks in the world. The ESC has a strong and dynamic leadership committed to making priority projects a reality to benefit its citizens and the region. The African Union in 2012 adopted the Program for Infrastructure Development in Africa, that's PIDA, as the action plan for infrastructure development up to the year 2040. The PIDA is a continental outlook for infrastructure development defining a 30-year framework to guide development of the transport, energy, ICT and water resources sectors. It provides a strategic framework with an agenda of priority regional infrastructure projects aligned with Africa's long-term goals of social economic development, job creation, poverty reduction, international and inter-regional trade facilitation and regional integration. As part of PIDA, a pipeline of 37 priority infrastructure projects along the ESC-based multimodal, multi-sectoral corridors that's EMCs has been identified. These corridors include Northern Corridor, Central Corridor, Coastal Road Corridor, Lamu Port and Lamu South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor, that's LAPSET, the Northern South Power Transmission Corridor, the Lake Tanganyika, Lake Victoria, Lake Kivu and Akagera River. The midterm review of the first priority action plan for 2012-2020, that's for Peter PAP, was recently completed by the AUC. The lessons learned from the review have been utilized to develop PDA PAP 2. To make these priority projects a reality, it is estimated that 32.5 billion US dollars of investment will be required over the next 10 years. The transport sector projects include four rail projects, eight marine transport projects, and 12 road projects. The transport projects will strengthen the key transport and trade corridors in the region, facilitate improved movement of people and goods, and reduce transportation costs. They will also increase cross-border connectivity as well as connectivity between major political and commercial hubs. They will also provide additional and alternative transport routes and provide landlocked countries with better access to seaports. The projects in the energy sector feature three transmission projects, that's a geothermal center of excellence for Africa and a pipeline project. The power projects will permit intra-regional trading of power, balancing the power demand and supply in the region and allowing more efficient supply of energy. The pipeline project will allow safer and efficient transport of oil products. Under the ICT sector, the extension of COMGov2, that's Burundi's e-government initiative, has been selected as a priority project. The ICT project will enhance the digital economy and provide greater access to public services to citizens. The priority projects for the water resources sector comprise six regional water resource management projects and an urban central sewage system project. The water resource management projects will improve the management of the region's most important water resources to generate positive downstream impacts on the population and certain economic sectors. They will provide access to irrigated agriculture and water for livestock, provide clean water to citizens, options for generating hydroelectric power, and enhanced flood risk mitigation. They will also help preserve water quality in major water bodies such as Lake Victoria. The sewerage project will provide access to better sanitation to citizens in one of Africa's major urban centers. The priority project provides opportunities for development finance institutions to contribute to social economic development, regional integration and poverty reduction in the region through supporting better project preparation and structuring and providing funding support. There are opportunities for private investors to invest in projects that are of highest priorities with strong government commitments for success with balanced risks and returns. 
uh, there are numerous opportunities for private developers and operators to participate in high-profile regional infrastructure projects. PDAPAP2 Integrated Corridor Approach will link infrastructure corridor development with industrialization, employment creation, and regional trade facilitation. Auda Nepad is pleased to have partnered with the ESC on the packaging of these projects and congratulates the ESC for this achievement. Bridging the infrastructure gap will not only spur social economic development, but also improve access to affordable and efficient regional transport, energy and communication network for increased competitiveness in our region. For more information, please visit www.eac.int forward slash PIDA where you can access the project compendium, also the contact details and project updates.